you, thank you, thank you so much for coming today. I know it's freezing and I won't talk for too long. Um, it's incredible to be in this space with us all of it, all using it the way it was intended to do. This is going to be my new place of work after May. <laughs> and I, I come past here quite a lot already. And when I look down and I think about how this is designed to be a public meeting space. It hardly ever is used for that. Sometimes you see a corporate event going on, um, there'll be people guarding the entrance, but this is so unusual and so amazing and I've been taking pictures of it and it's really, really inspiring. Um, as more and more in London, London is being developed, we've got so many developments going on. Anna was saying earlier on how each time this model is being used, we are losing our public spaces. Um, and I think it's so important that when we do create new public spaces, they are governed by democratic <laughs> rules. So, I mean, what we really could do within London is, as Daniel was saying earlier, we need a right to roam. We need something like the Scottish Outdoor Access, Access Code for London um, and for the country. That's not a power we strictly have, but as mayor, like when I, when I come in as mayor, <laughs> or when I come as an assembly member, because as Anna says, there is cross-party support for this. We can get the other parties to agree with it if we start campaigning properly for it. We can put new rules within the London plan that means new publicly accessible space must be governed by local authority bylaws. It's as simple as that. And once we've done that, the spaces can be governed democratically. We still have a job to do because democracy is an active thing. We would have to campaign for the rules not to be too strict, but they would be democratically accountable accounted for and we would have a say rather than the very arbitrary stuff that goes on here at the moment. So that's it really, that's my policy. <laughs> um, it would be an effective one, it would stop new places being created with these rules. Meanwhile, I think with the spaces that we already have, we've done something really, really important today, uh, gently, respectfully, firmly, by common action we have colonised this space for the day. We've established that this is now a public space for the time that we are here. And people everywhere can and should be doing this to more of the public spaces that we have that are governed in the way that more London is governed now. So I hope this is just, I can't thank Bradley and Anna enough and Daniel for organising this today. It's really inspiring and I hope it inspires a movement of more of these space probes all over London. We can win back our space that's already been privatised.